Well, good afternoon and welcome to today's CEO COVID-19 update. It's Friday, April 30th, 2021. We're going to talk about the COVID-19 Johnson & Johnson vaccine update, as well as share some gratitude and recognition. So let's start with Johnson & Johnson. Uh, I'm sure many of you have been aware, and I want to talk to you as, as a woman and as an individual who uh, made a choice to get vaccinated. Um, you, you may have wondered what the, the noise was about Johnson & Johnson. So I'd like to talk about, you know, that as the scientists release vaccines, they very carefully look at safety data. And each and every case of even a potential um, symptom or side effect is reported. And if you got a vaccine, you know that because they gave you a piece of paper that said, make sure to go online and register and report any symptoms. It's from those reports that these six cases uh, were identified. They were six in, you know, almost... Uh, 68 um, million uh, vaccines that were administered. And um, they took them very seriously and issued a pause. And that pause then gave them time to look for additional cases that may not have been reported in, uh, to ask uh, other uh, physicians in practice, had they seen any cases, and look for would this move to a higher level uh, of, of recommendation or potentially um, make the vaccine not usable? None of that was found. Uh, they paused it for 11 days. They went through the scientific community, collected um, and, and heard from experts. And at the end of that, have found that this is a very rare blood clot um, that is treated differently than normal blood clots, not with heparin, and that the benefits of being vaccinated and the unfortunate mortality and morbidity with vaccinations really outweigh any of these small, infrequent cases of this blood clot. So therefore, they made the decision to reintroduce and to make available the vaccine again so that we now have three vaccines to be uh, used in vaccinating the country. They did issue a warning with it to say that women younger than 50 years of age could be and should be aware of this very rare but risk for a blood clot, that these women could choose to use the Pfizer or Moderna, and that we should, if you've gotten the Johnson & Johnson, watch for symptoms of blood clot. And they talk about those symptoms, pain, shortness of breath, those kind of things. And again, you know, we, we continue to monitor the safety data. So the good news here is that it has been studied and restudied and is safe and effective and now out for use. For those of you that are a little um, afraid of shots, you know, I gave a lot of shots in my career as a nurse. I can't say that I love to get those shots. So maybe for some of you like me, one shot is the answer. And this still is the great alternative to pick the Johnson & Johnson over the Pfizer or Moderna, which is only one shot. The important message is whichever vaccine it is, Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer or Moderna, go ahead and find your spot and get your shot because vaccine is where you're gonna get to, to do some of the things that you've been yearning to do for a long time. So if we move to the next slide, I uh, will talk a, a little bit about, again, uh, Mary Ann, our PTA in Tucson, Arizona, who, who shared with us why she chose to get vaccinated. And I think this, this story just resonates with me that, you know, and she says she had no doubt that she was going to get this vaccination as soon as possible. It was just the extra layer of protection for her with her family and her clients. 
again, not about her, but about how others she could inadvertently pass it on. Her biggest fear, as she says, in not getting the vaccine was possibly passing along to one of the vulnerable clients that she services. She now feels like she can breathe a little easier. And for many of us, it's, a, it's an emotional moment when you get vaccinated because you now feel that level of, of relief that you're not gonna infect somebody else. So Marianne, thank you for sharing your story. There are many stories just like this all across our, our wonderful organization. Please remember the upside to getting vaccination and go ahead and find your spot, get your shot. Thanks again for all you've done to keep yourselves and your clients safe. We'll be back again next week with another important message and an expression of gratitude.